Good afternoon, I'm Nicole Finn e. de la Torre and today I'm going to perform return demonstration about the musculoskeletal assessment. The purpose of this is to um, help identify the functional anatomy associated with clinical conditions, thereby differentiating the underlying systems involved and could correctly point towards the condition helping in early diagnosis and intervention. Prior to performing the procedure, introduce self and verify the client's identi identity using agency protocol. And then explain to the client what you are going to do, why, why is it necessary, and how he or she can participate. So, among the purpose of this assessment is to assess function and to explain the abnormalities of your musculoskeletal system. And perform hand hygiene and observe other appropriate infection prevention procedures. Then gather supplies. Check the patient's chart for information prior to assessment regarding mobility status, fall risk, and use of assistive devices. Check the room for transmission-based precaution. Then confirm patient's ID using two patient's identifiers, the name and the date of birth. Then explain the process to the patients and ask if they have any questions. Be organized and systematic. Do you have any history of arthritis? Falls. Okay. So how about uh, do you have how about you? Do you have some problem of joint and muscle pain? No. Can you stand for me so with your feet together? Now I'm going to assess your head from pelvis to your extremity stop. The posture is erect with head midline above the spine, shoulder, and equal height. First is walking gait. Next, for the Romberg test, ask the client to stand erect, arms at the side, and feet together. Note any unsteadiness and swaying. Then, with the client with the same body position, ask the client to close the eyes for 20 seconds. Again, note any imbalance or swaying. It will be called negative Romberg's if the clients stand erect with minimal swaying, with eyes both open and closed, and is able to maintain upright posture and foot stance. Then, standing in one foot with eyes closed, Ask the client to close the eyes and stand in one foot and then the other. Stand close to the client during the test. Maintain stance for at least 5 seconds. Then heel to walking or tandem walking. Ask the client to walk straight line using the heel of one foot directly in front of the toes of the other foot. Maintain heels to walking along the straight line. Next is toe or heel walking. Ask the client to walk several steps on the toes and on the heels. The client should be able to walk several steps on the toes or heels. Then now I'm going to check for extremities for lesions, lacerations, swelling, deformities. Then inspect overall size, the measuring both arms, thighs and calves, bony enlargement and alignment of muscles and joints. Ask the patient to move major joints, knees, shoulders, hips, and ankles through the expected room movements. Observe the quality and equality of motion bilaterally with the same body parts. Note any limitations, pain, or crepitus with movement. Use passive ROM if indicated and appropriate.
Assess muscle strength and tone in hand grips, upper extremities, lower extremities, and compare strength of symmetrical muscle groups. Upper and lower extremities on the dominant side are usually stronger.